And now for some final thoughts on coming to our senses. We're born with five senses. You know each one of them. We hear, smell, touch, see, and taste the world around us. These are the five and the only five ways we obtain information. In spite of the praise they receive, our senses are incomplete. For example, we have no built-in way to register magnetic fields or radioactivity. And we're practically blind when you consider all the forms of light we cannot see, including infrared, ultraviolet, and radio waves, even though they're all around us. And often, our five senses are just plain unreliable. Eyewitness testimony, though high evidence in the court of law, is the lowest form of evidence in the court of science. When we declare a food to be bitter or sweet, we hardly ever recognize that it's an opinion derived from our genetic profile. More typically, we wrongly presume these features to be intrinsic properties of what we tasted. That's why it's hard to do science equipped with only our senses. The most successful fields of research are those rich in the methods and tools of measurement that do not depend on the genes of who's doing the measuring. In this way, scientists reveal fundamental truths about the universe, allowing us to decode and even predict the operations of nature. Otherwise, if all you have are your five senses, then all you have are your opinions. And that is the cosmic perspective.